What's up, Internet? It's your favorite barista back at it again. And today we are going to uh, complete the second half of the iced coffee video. I'm going to go ahead and pour the toddy that we've been brewing. Uh, this toddy has been steeping overnight for just about 22 hours now. So now that it's done brewing, uh, we can go ahead and drain it into the carafe and then it'll be ready to serve. Okay, you can see that I left these separated. Uh, you don't want to actually stack the toddy brewer on top while it's brewing. Uh, you run the risk of it getting knocked over and I see that as being uh, a pointless thing to do anyway. Uh, you can just leave it sit right next to it. You can even put the carafe away if you like until the coffee is done brewing. Uh, so now that it's done brewing, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and lift it up and we're going to put the carafe directly underneath because this is going to be a fairly quick process here. You're going to want to see this. I'm going to remove the cork and then immediately put it on top of the carafe. So that's going to happen pretty much all in one, one motion. All right, so. As you can see, it's, uh, it's brewing good now. It's, it's just pouring at a nice steady pace. Uh, it is going to take some time to fill this craft, but this coffee looks good. It looks nice and crisp, nice and clean. So let's talk about what we know about the Indonesian region in general. Uh, we're going to usually say that they have a nice heavy body with a smooth, a smooth flavor that usually goes well with a nice medium to dark roast. Uh, a lot of times the Indonesian beans, uh, depending on where specifically they're coming from in the region, uh, could have herbal or floral notes to them. Uh, I really do enjoy a lot of Indonesian coffees and actually they tend to be common when making blends uh, for their commercial uh, coffee roasters. They use uh, Indonesian a lot of times to blend with a bolder coffee uh, to make a nice smooth medium. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try some. Okay, now we're going to get to the best part. I'm finally going to taste some. Now, keep in mind, this has been sitting for 22 and a half hours at this point, and uh, I gotta say, it looks awesome. I can't wait to jump into this. Room temp, I'm gonna take it straight. There you go. All right. Already I kind of pick up a sweet aroma. Uh, it's got a nice mild aroma to it, but it's definitely got uh, like a smell of citrus. Okay, so again what we're going to immediately taste for is going to be acidity. And that's going to be the tartness on the tongue, whether it's uh, like orange juice or like root beer. Oh no. That has almost no acidity at all. Uh, that is very similar to root beer. I mean, if, if anything, it's got like a crisp undertone. Uh, but this is delicious. Wow, this has a very deep, heavy body. Uh, and when we talk about body, we're going we're gonna to think about the texture. Uh, we're going to think uh, anywhere from skim milk to heavy cream, something like that. That would be a range for body. And... This is a very deep, heavy body. This is delicious. Uh, I love this. I am so glad that I did the Bali as the iced coffee. This is really good stuff. Uh, very strong, very strong flavor. Uh, I would definitely consider this to be like an espresso. Uh, if you're going to make drinks with it, I think uh, you're probably going to... If I was making Karen a drink in this glass, I'd probably use that much and then the rest milk or obviously soy milk uh, 
or almond milk or oat milk like I use this morning. 